everyone today I am doing the box for Coco Teak for the box of October so let's get right into the products okay so the makeup product is a black radiance palette I actually did get the other black radiance palette last month but it was different tones um it was still a cool tone palette but it had different colors it was like more brownish this is more in the purpley this is more in like the pur purple family. So this is how they look up close. Really nice, really nice um, colors. Let's see how they swatch. So let's swatch this one. And on it, it says brown bone, lit, eyelid, crease, accent. So it's pretty much giving you a way to use this palette. I probably wouldn't use this color in my brow bone, but that's just a suggestion on how you can use the palette. So let's watch that color. Sorry about my nails. But that was that one. Not too pigmented, but pigmented enough because these are cool tones. So you would like to, I think with like cool tones, you want them to not be so crazy because when you're going towards cool tones and that smoky look, you want to start off slowly and build up the color. It also did come with this brush again on the bottom. If you saw my last video, you can you saw that I did not like this brush. So I am going to be using a different brush. I'm just going to use one of the tones on my entire lid. I'm not going to do a full eye look with this. But let's look at this black right here because it's like the most sparkly one. Just doing one good swipe here. Then I'll do it. So the black didn't swatch too well, unfortunately. Honestly, but it might look different on like it looks really good on my finger here So I think you know with the right brush and the patience you can definitely probably build up this Especially with a black like you said you just want to use it little by little and then build it up I really like this purple right here. I think I'm gonna use this all over my eyelid And I'm gonna do it really close up to the camera so you can see I'm just using a random fluffy brush that I have I'm just gonna slowly single thing it up. So honestly, these are, I'm gonna put two colors in. I'll put this one and another one and see if I can build it up a little bit. Cause this isn't showing up the way I would want it to. I'm gonna go into this purple and see, see if it's a little bit more vibrant. This was actually the crease shade, so let's go into our crease with the crease color. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, yeah, you see that? Oh my god, yeah, that's intense. So yeah, this color in the palette is really good. So if you receive this this month, go for this color. It's really nice. Okay, so I think I blended it out well enough where it looks like a good... I like using one color. I do do my eyes all done up every once in a while. But I like to use one color sometimes because it just brings the simplicity to makeup. And it shows that, obviously, if you're just trying to be quick and get something done, it's really nice. But it also, it's like more wearable. Like, it looks more... I can go outside and feel more comfortable with this type of look other than, you know, going out with a full blown eye look <laughs> and feeling a little bit uncomfortable because it's during the daytime and I do work eight hours. So I like to make sure that it does look daytime appropriate. And I think going in with one shadow definitely gives that daytime appropriate wear because I do, I would feel comfortable going with. This is purple and a smoky, so it's a little bit more bold. Maybe a Friday, you know, at work, I would go in with this, but I still would feel comfortable. I wouldn't feel like I have too much makeup on my eyes, especially since I don't wear foundation at work. I just go in with concealer. But I think this palette, if you're using the right colors and the right brushes, you can build this up to a really beautiful, purple smoky eye so that was nice i do like black radiance products and i always like to you know use black owned products so even though i got this i did give my last one to my sister and she really likes it i think that honestly was better than this one but this one is nice if you do like that purple tone 
shadow look. Okay, so the next product that we have here is this Genel, I think that's how you say it, Genel Day. But this is a purse ready pack, like you just put this in your purse, it's a pad, and it's supposed to be equal, like friendly, it helps your pH balance, it's really supposed to be breathable for you. So I like these portable pad options because my, I don't know about you guys, but my period is extremely irregular. Sometimes it comes at the beginning of the month, sometimes it comes in the middle of the month, sometimes it comes in the end of the month. So I really never know when my period is coming. So I always like have something in my purse. And I wonder if they all come individually packaged like this, because if they do, this is really good to just have in your purse and then you just pull it out and then, you know, you'll be able to use it. And like I said, it's equal friendly. So that's really good as well. The next item I have in my box is this Gillette Bikini Balm. You're gonna see a theme in this box. It's gonna be more about like personal care, really personal things. But basically this Bikini Balm is really good if you get a lot of irritation, or if you, you can also use this on your armpits and on your legs if you also get um, razor bumps, but it's usually in the bikini area. Where you get that irritation, you just roll it up and then place it on, you know, you just place it on the parts where you get the most irritation. For me, it's usually, you know, my under my arms. I used to get irritation, but I'll talk about that more with the next product. So I would use this definitely on my arms. Okay, so the next item that we have here is this Dove deodorant, and I I want to go into like a little bit something like personal, but it really will help a lot of people. I used to used to get extreme irritation and discoloration and razor bumps. Razor bumps in my bikini and underarm area. I had a prob a big problem with it for multiple years. I didn't understand what the product the problem was, but I went into a product. It was it's called V. It's not like I'm getting like, you know, I literally just went into the store one day and I tried out V and I tried out Nair, um Nair and V at the same time, but I ended up liking V more. And I used to always get so much, you know problems like un under my arms in my bikini area and I and I did more research in it and I just think it's because like black girls have really curly hair so the hair was curling right back into my skin as soon as it grow was growing out so that caused extreme irritation I no longer shave with a, a razor and this product also helped me a lot under my underarms. This is the Dove Advanced Care Beauty Finish um, deodorant and it's really supposed to help your pH balance come back. It looks just like this. It's pink and it has that pink pearl right there. This really light, not I wouldn't say lighten, but it helped my pH balance in my underarm area, you know, get back to its natural skin tone color. So this, ah, so this really helped me and also they included a full size, another full size deodorant. And this is a dry spray and it literally says that it helps restore your pH balance and your natural skin tone. It's supposed to work up to 48 hours. I didn't, I never used this before and I'm excited because the deodorant I use now, it doesn't have that those aspects in it and I always like looking for stuff like that my skin has gotten completely better it's way smoother now I'm really happy but I like using the air spray like this but now that I see I, I don't know if they had this for a while or not but I'm extremely excited to see that this also helps with you know keeping your your skin tone even because I'm always trying to keep my skin tone even so that's really exciting to see I'm really happy about that product the next product that we have here is this charcoal mask so this charcoal mask is supposed to be it's supposed to be really like interactive basically so you're gonna take the mask you're gonna put some on your hand and just put a couple droplets in like keep putting a little bit of droplets in creating like a you know like a good muddy texture not too watery and then you're just gonna put it on your face it says that you can use this mask in your hair i probably would only use it on my my skin but it also says you can use it on any part of your body that you like so if you want to use it on your legs or you know any part that you would like you can also do that a charcoal mask the benefits of a charcoal mask honestly it's just what it brings is 
It takes out that impurities from your skin and clears your skin up and helps your skin get prepped for, you know, more even base or just it takes all that extra excess stuff that it doesn't need from your skin out and then you can go in with moisturizer and everything and it's supposed to really help your skin restore itself pretty much. So that's good to see, really good size. So from the same brand, Garner's Garden, as that face mask gave us a facial toner, which I'm excited because I actually don't have any facial toner and I do, I am a believer of facial toner. I do believe it works. This um, facial toner, some people think it's like crazy, but I really think it helps. Um, this facial toner, toner basically removes excess oil and dirt and it's supposed to really clean, clean and refresh your skin. And this also has aloe vera in it. So it, what toner is supposed to do is strip, you know, the excess dirt and oil, but it also is supposed to help your next products go into your skin better. So your serum and lotion, um, before you use that, you would use your toner. And it's the toner is supposed to really sink in your serum and your moisture or your moisturizer into your skin. So that's why I, I like using toner because I'm an oily girl and I feel like, you know, the better things sit in my skin, the less oil my skin will produce, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited to use this. It's a good size to sample and it goes with the, the mask. So that will be a good, you know, mixture to use together and see how it works. So the next item is Super Smile. These are little toothpaste tubes and this is supposed to really whiten your teeth. And it, it does come with two of them. So with this um, toothpaste, you're supposed to just use it in, in place of your toothpaste and it's really supposed to whiten your teeth. I always like using teeth, I always like to find a new teeth whitener because who doesn't want whiter teeth? It just looks better and come with two so i'm excited to use this and see if it works the next two products is this okay edge control so this has coconut oil and it's supposed to be really nourishing for your scalp so you know edge control usually dries out your edges and takes them off this has the benefit of having coconut oil in it so um these are really these are called on the cold polish edge edges so I believe these are on the go because this is the travel size and basically what you're gonna do for this product if you never use edge control before it smells amazing it smells good you're just gonna take a little bit use them on the places on your edges where you just want to lay them down a little bit like I have really curly hair in the front of my hair or they might stick up and like you know I don't like that I just put some of this on those edge parts the last three products that I have here is from Cal Pharma this is an SPF and this is supposed to be ultra skin hydrator so it's also supposed to bring hydration to your skin and they gave us three of those so that was really good if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more unboxing unbagging videos thank you goodbye